even after the Holy Land tour 2018 with Pastor Chris ended, the beautiful sights and sounds continue to evoke special emotions. One of such special places is the Garden Tomb in Jerusalem. The site features a rock-cut tomb in Jerusalem, which was unearthed in 1867 and is considered by some Christians to be the site of here we are. This is the climax, as it were, of day four of the Holy Land tour with our man of God, Pastor Chris. And right about now, we are at a location which is believed by certain school of thoughts to be the place where Jesus' body was buried. It's called the Garden Tomb, and it's one of the archaeological sites in the old city of Jerusalem, which has so much history and so much um, rich culture to it. And so right about now, we're standing at the entrance of what is believed to be the garden tomb where Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus took the body of Jesus and laid him to rest in this. It is called a garden tomb because um, most tombs really don't have gardens, but Looking around, you can see the flowers and everything. So this was constructed in such a way that it does have a garden. And so this is the venue of the beautiful service that we have today. Like I said, this caps up today's tour, day four. And so we're in for a beautiful time of worship and praise. And of course, we will be receiving the word of God as well. And all of this is happening on the Holy Land tour with our man of God, Pastor Chris. This is Zoe Okafor live from the Garden Tomb in the old city of Jerusalem. been dated by Israeli archaeologist Gabriel Barke to the 8th to the 7th centuries BC and is adjacent to a rocky escarpment which since the mid-19th century has been proposed by some scholars to be Golgotha. It has since been known as Skull Hill or Gordon's Golgotha. In contradiction to this modern identification, the traditional site where the death and resurrection of Christ are believed to have occurred has been the Church of the Holy Sepulchre at least since the 4th century. But whatever the claims, it did not deter participants to have an amazing time of worship and appreciation for what Jesus did for them. Having believed, even though they did not see, there is no greater witness than the one enthroned in their hearts. Zoe Okafo for Love World Plus News.